Welcome, I'm Richard Green, this is Batsy's Training Centre at Warrington, more training Tuesdays. And today what we're going to talk about is the 6800 range of boilers, how to make the pipe connections a little bit easier. Stay tuned. On the new Batsy 600-800 range, I've been getting a little bit of feedback from some installers saying it's a little bit tricky to make the pipe connections on the right hand side of the boiler. As you can see, on the right hand side of the boiler, uh, it's quite busy and there's a lot of things happening here which can create problems with making final connections. Here's a solution for the cold water mains and central heating return. What you need to do is just take a minute before you start piping and make yourself a temporary brace like I've done here. I've utilised two half inch tap connectors and two 15mm street elbows but you could use standard 15mm elbows. You can make this remotely off the unit or take the blanking caps off the return and cold water mains isolating valve and make it in situ. If you're making it remotely you need to be at 65mm centres as shown here. So the first point to bear in mind, and some of you may already know this, is the blow off can be a little bit difficult to get to if you pre plumb everything first. So, what you need to do is you need to make your first connection onto the blow off. Put it in and complete it. Run the pipe to the outside. Right, so, wherever practicable, always start, and the circumstances dictate whether you can do this or not are from the right hand side and move towards the left starting with the return and the cold water mains connection. What I do when I'm fitting one of these is I will put the cold water connection in first, tighten that down and get it as square as you, as you can. Once you've fitted the cold water isolation valve and got it reasonably square and tightish fit the return connection, leaving it slightly loose and then remove the blanking caps where the filament was going to sit, remove those blanking caps. Once the blanking caps are removed, take your temporary brace, 65mm centres, two half inch tap connectors and position them onto the filament connections. Like so. As we can see, the brace now holds the two valves at 65mm centres square, which allows us access to the unions at the bottom of the boiler. Once you've made all your pipe work connections and you're happy that the return of the cold water are tight, uh, you can remove the temporary bracket brace that we've made and that will keep those valves 65mm centres. So when we position, refit the filling loop, it sits on there and we're quite confident now that the valve connections are sound. Put the temporary brace in your toolbox for the next job. Right, so, hope you found that tip useful. Uh, and stay tuned for more news views and how to do's on Batch Training Tuesdays. Take care, till next time, be safe.